Chapter 19 The Book of Invoking Curses 1. Sal B. Saad al Saidi reported that Uvaimir al Ajlani came to Asim B. Adi al Ansari and said to him, Tell me about a person who finds a man with his wife, should he kill him and he and be killed in retaliation? Or how should he act? Asim asked for me religious verdict about it from Allah's Messenger. So Asim asked Allah's Messenger and he did not like this question and he disapproved of it so much that Asim felt ag aggrieved at what he had heard from Allah's Messenger. When Asim came back to his family, Uvaimir came to him and said, Asim, what did Allah's Messenger said to you, say to you? Asim said to Uvaimir, You did not bring something good. Allah's Messenger did not like this religious verdict that I sought from him. Uvaimir said, By Allah, I will not rest until I have asked him about it. Uvaimir proceeded until he came to Allah's Messenger. And as he was sitting amidst people and said, Messenger of Allah, tell me about a person who found a man with his wife. Should he kill him? And then you would kill him. Or how should he act? Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, Verses have been revealed concerning you and your wife, so go and bring her. Saul said that they both invoked, curse, invoked curses and further said, I was along with people in the company of Allah's Messenger. And when they had finished, Uvaimir said, Allah's Messenger, I shall have told a lie against her if I keep her now. So he divorced her with free pronouncements before Allah's Messenger had commanded him. Ibn Shihab said, subsequently, that was the practice of invokers of curses, al mutala in 9 Sal B. Saad reported Uvaimir al-Ansari, Allah be pleased with him, from Banul Ajlan, came to Asim B. Ab Adi, Allah be pleased with him. The remaining part of the hadith is the same, and it was also recorded in it. And subsequently, the separation became the practice of al mutala e 9 and this addition was also made. She was pregnant and her son was ascribed to her, and it became customary that such a son would inherit her and she would inherit him in the share prescribed by Allah for her. Ibn Shihab narrated about the invokers of curses and the practice of Liran, uh, practice of Leon based on the authority of Sal B. Sad of the tribe of Saud Saida that a person from the Ansar came to Allah's Apostle and said, Allah's Messenger, tell me tell me about the person who found a man with his wife. The remaining part of the Hadith is the same but with this addition. They invoke curses in the mosque <coughs> and I was present there. And he narrated in the hadith he divorced her with free pronouncements before Allah's Messenger commanded him, commanded him to get separation. He separated from her in the presence of Allah's Apostle, whereupon he said, There is a separation between the invokers of curses. Said B. Jubair reported, I was asked about the invokers of curses during the reign of Musab b. Zubayr, whether they could separate themselves by this process. He said, I did not understand what to say, so I went to the house of Ibn Umar, Allah be pleased with them, in Mecca. I said to his servant, seek permission for me. He said that he, Ibn Umar, had been taking rest. He, Ibn Umar, heard my voice and said, Are you Ibn Jubair? 
I said yes. He said, come in. By Allah, it must be some great need which has brought you here at this hour. So I got in and found him lying on a blanket reclining against a pillow stuffed with fibers of date palm. I said, O oh Abu Abd al-Rahman, should there be separation between the invokers of curses? He said, Hallowed be Allah. Yes, the first one who asked about it was so and so. He said, Messenger of Allah, tell me if one of us finds his wife committing adultery, what should he do? If he talks, that is something great. And if he keeps quiet, that is also something great, which he cannot afford to do. Allah's Prophet kept quiet or some time. After some time, he, that very person, came to him, Allah's Messenger, and said, I have been involved in that very cage about which I had asked you. Allah the Exalted and Majestic then revealed these verses of Surah Nur. Those who accused their wives of verse 6, and he, the Holy Prophet, recited them to him and admonished him and exhorted him and informed him that the torment of the world is less painful than the torment of the hereafter. He said, No, by him who sent you with truth. I did not tell a lie against her. He, the Holy Prophet, then called her the wife of that person who had accused her, and admonished her, and exhorted her, and informed her that the torment of this world is less painful than the torment of the hereafter. She said, No, by him who sent thee with truth, he is a liar. It was the man who started the swearing of oath, and he swore in the name of Allah four times that he was among the truthful. And at the fifth turn he said, Let there be curse of Allah upon him if he were among the liars. Then the woman was called, and she swore four times in the name of Allah that he, her husband, was among the liars. And at the fifth time she said, Let there be curse upon her if he were among the truthful. He, the Holy Prophet, then effected separation between the two. A hadith like this is narrated by Ibn Numair with a slight variation of words. Ibn Umar, Allah be pleased with them, reported Allah's messenger saying to the invokers of curse, Your account is with Allah. One of you must be a liar. You have now no right over this woman, he said, Messenger of Allah, what about my wealth, dower, that I paid her at the time of marriage? He said, you have no claim to wealth, if you tell the truth. It, dower, is a recompense for your having had the right to intercourse with her. And if you tell a lie against her, it is still more remote from you than she is, Suhair said in his narration. Sufyan reported to us on the authority of Ahmed that he had heard Sa Sa'id bin Jubair saying, I heard Ibn Umar, Allah be pleased with them, saying that Allah's messenger had said it. Ibn Umar, Allah be pleased with them, said that Allah's messenger effected separation between the two members of Banu al-Ajlan and said, Allah knows that one of you is a liar. Is there one to repent among you? Sayyid B. Jubayr reported, I asked Ibn Umar, Allah be pleased with them, about invoking curse Liam, and he narrated similarly from Allah's Apostle. Sayyid B. Jubayr reported that Musab B. Subayr did not affect separation between the Mutala la inayn invokers of curses said said it was mentioned to abdullah bi umar allah be pleased with them and he said allah's apostle effected separation between the two members of banu al ajlan nafi reported on the authority of ibn umar 
Allah be pleased with them, that a person invoked the invoked curse on their wife during the lifetime of Allah's Messenger. So he effected separation between them and traced the lineage of the son to his mother. Ibn Umar, Allah be pleased with them, reported. Allah's Messenger asked a person from the anger and his wife to invoke curse upon one another in order to testify to their truthfulness and then effected separation between them. A hadith like this has been narrated on the authority of Ubaidullah with the same chain of transmitters. Abdullah reported, We were on the night of Friday staying in the mosque when a person from the Ansar came there and said, if a person finds his woman along with a man and he speaks about it, you would lash him, and if he kills, you will kill him. And if he keeps quiet, he shall have the he shall have to consume anger. By Allah, I will definitely ask about him from Allah's Messenger. On the following day, he came to Allah's Messenger and asked him thus If a man were to find with his wife a man, and if he were to talk about it, you would lash him, and if he killed, you would kill him. And if he were to keep quiet, he would consume anger. Whereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, Allah solved this problem, and he began to supplicate before him. And then the verses pertaining to Leon were revealed. Those who accuse their wives and have no witnesses except themselves XXIV6. The person was then put to test according to these verses in the presence of the people. There came he and his wife in the presence of Allah's Messenger, and they invoked curses in order to testify their claim. The man swore four times in the name of Allah that he was one of the truthful and then invoked curses and then invoked curse for the fifth time saying let there be curse of Allah upon him if he were among the liars then she began to invoke curse Allah's messenger said to her just wait and curse after considering over it but she refused and invoked curse and when she turned away he Allah's apostle said it seems that this woman shall give birth to a curly-haired black child, and so she did give, give and so she did give birth to a curly-haired black child. A hadith like this is narrated on the authority of Amas. Muhammad, one of the narrators, reported. I asked Anas bin Malik, Allah be pleased with him, knowing that he had a knowledge of the case of Leon. He said, Hilal bi Umayyah, Allah be pleased with him, accused his wife with the, chain, with the charge of fornication. With Sharik bi Hasama, the brother of Al Bara bi Malik, from the side of his mother. And he was the first person who invoked the curse Leon in Islam. He in fact invoked curse upon her. Allah's messenger said, See to her if she gives birth to a white complexioned child having dark hair and bright eyes. He must be the son of Hilal bi Umayyah. And if she gives birth to a child with, with dark eyelids, curly hair and lean shanks, he must be the offspring of Sharik bi Sama. He said, I was informed that she gave birth to a child having dark eyelids, curly hair and lean shanks. Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with them, reported. Mention was made of Leon in the presence of Allah's messenger and Asim bi Adi passed a remark about it and then turned away. And a man of his tribe came to him complaining that he had found a man with his wife, whereupon Asim said, I have been 
taken by my words, he took him to Allah's messenger and told him about the man whom he had found with his wife. And this man was a lean, yellow-colored man with lank hair. And the person who was accused of committing adultery, to, adultery with her, his wife, had fleshy sh shanks with wheat complexion and heavy bulk. Allah's messenger said, O oh Allah, make this case manifest. And as she gave birth to a child, whose face resembled that that person about whom her husband had made mention that he had found her with, and Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, had asked them to invoke curses. A person said to Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with him. Is she that woman about whom Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, said, if I were to stone anybody without evidence, I would have stoned her. Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with him, said, No, it is not she. That woman was one who openly spread evil in society. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ibn Abbas. Allah be pleased with them through another chain of transmitters with the addition of these words, with flesh and curly tangled hair. Abdullah B. Shaddad reported that mention was made about the invokers of curses before Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with them. Ibn Shaddad said, Are these two are these the two about whom Allah's Apostle said, If I were to stone one without evidence, I would have definitely stoned her. Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with them, said, She is not, the, she is not this woman, but she is the one who committed adultery openly. Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, reported that Sa'd bi Ubadah al-Ansari said, Messenger of Allah, tell me if a man finds his wife with another person, should he kill him? Allah's messenger said, No. Sa'd said, Why not? I swear by him who has honored you with the truth. Thereupon Allah's messenger said, Listen to what your chief says. If a man finds his wife with another person, if a man finds not find his wife with another person, Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, reported that Saad bi Ubada, Allah be pleased with him, said, Messenger of Allah, if I were to find with my wife a man, should I wait until I bring four witnesses? He said, Yes. Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, reported that Saad b Ubadah, Allah be pleased with him, said, Messenger of Allah, if I were to find with my wife a man, should I not touch him before bringing four witnesses? Allah's messenger said, Yes. He said, By no means, by him who has sent you with the truth, I would hasten with my sword to him before that. Allah's messenger said, listen to what your chief says, he is jealous of his honor, I am more jealous than he is, and God is more jealous than I. al mughira bi Shuba, Allah be pleased with him, reported that Saad bi Ubada, Allah be pleased with him, said, if I were to see a man with my wife, I would have struck him with a sword and not with the flat part side of it. When Allah's messenger heard of that, he said, are you surprised at Saad's jealousy of his honor? By Allah, I am more jealous of my honor than he, and Allah is more jealous than I. Because of his jealousy, Allah has, prohib Allah has prohibited abomination, both open and secret, and no person is more jealous of his honor than Allah, and no person is more fond of accepting an excuse than Allah, on, ex on account of which he has sent messengers, announcers of glad tidings and warners 
and no one is more found of praise than Allah on account of which Allah has promised paradise. A hadith like this has been transmitted on the authority of Abd al-Malik the Umayr with the same chain of narrators but with a slight change of words. Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, reported there came a person to the Prophet, may peace be up, he upon him, from Banu Fasara, and said, My wife has given birth to a child who is black. Whereupon Allah's Apostle said, Have you any camels? He said, Yes. He again said, What is this color? He said, They are red. He said, Is there a dusky one among them? He said, Yes, there are dusky one among them. He said, How, how has it come about? He said, it is perhaps a strain to which it has reverted, whereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, It is perhaps a strain to which he, the child, has reverted. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Suri, with the same chain of transmitters. In the hadith transmitted on the authority of Mamar, the words are, Messenger of Allah, my wife has given birth to a dark complex, complexioned boy, boy, and he at that, that, at that time was intending to disown him, and this addition has been made at the end of the hadith. He, the Holy Prophet, did not permit him to disown him. Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, reported. A desert, a desert Arab came to Allah's Messenger and said, My wife has given birth to a dark complexioned child, and I have disowned him. Thereupon Allah's Apostle said, Have you any camels? He said, Yes. He said, What is their color? He said, They are red. He said, Is there anyone dusky among them? He said, Yes. Allah's Messenger said, How has it come about? He said, Messenger of Allah, it is perhaps due to the strain to which it has reverted, whereupon the Prophet said, It, the birth of the black child, may be due to the strain to which he, the child, might have reverted. A hadith like this has been narrated on the authority of Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, through another chain of transmitters.